Hello, this is David from Euclear Digital. Today I'm going to show you a short demonstration and explanation of the Euclear buttonless gesture control feature found on the Euclear Motion 6 and Motion Infinity model helmet communication systems. This feature allows riders to quickly access to commands uh, that are most commonly used, such as volume control and music playback control, without having to touch the unit or use voice commands. It is controlled via a short laser beam that comes out of the bottom window here. That laser beam comes out a total of about four inches to avoid false positives off shoulders and collars. With my camera here, I should be able to actually show you the laser. There you go. Okay, and we're going to talk about how to learn this and run it. It should only take you with practice a few minutes to learn how to do this. First thing you need to know how to, is how to turn the feature on and off. That can be done with a triple tap of the top button here. One, two, three. Or within the Uclear Clearlink app, you can see the feature here, gesture sensor, and that can be on or off. It now shows on. In order to control volume up and down, we're going to simply do an open-handed wave past the unit. For volume up, I like to go straight on top of the unit like this. Let me show you again here at a different angle. So off your bars, it's just a really fast movement. Tap it, take your hand away. Volume down, we're simply going to go a little bit higher above, somewhere between one and four inches on a single pass like this. Let me show you that again. Okay, so volume down, one to four inches above, volume up, right on top of it. Okay, now we'll show you how to start and pause music. Okay, which is simply holding your hand for one full second, one to four inches above. So all I have to do is this. There's our music. Now I'll pause it the exact same way. So pause and play are the exact same movement. You simply hold your hand one to four inches above it for one full second, and that will pause and restart it. Okay, I'm gonna start it again. And then I'll show you how to change tracks, okay? So changing tracks is as simple as doing the same movement as you do for volume up, which is this, and doing it twice in a row. One, two. Okay, you heard it say next track on there. And there it is. So I'm on Pandora. Sometimes there's a delay. Okay. So let's go through that again. Music pause. Music play. And we're going to go next track. One, two. Okay. It's as simple as that. Okay. So quick review. Volume up. Volume down a couple inches above. One pass. Again. Now we're going to change the track with two times. There you go. Okay. So there's the basic functions. It's as simple as that. It should only take you a few minutes to use. The last thing I want to show you guys is how to avoid false positives by incorrectly mounting the unit on a helmet. So I have two helmets here with different helmet contours. This is what we're looking at. Okay. You can see the difference is that on this second helmet, you're going to see a downward slope in where you might think to mount the unit. On this helmet, it's flat there. So when we mount our motion infinity unit there, we're not angling the unit and the laser down towards our shoulder to create false positives. On this helmet, you could mount it anywhere along here, no problem. On a lot of helmets, though, you've got a downward facing contour towards the bottom of the helmet. And if we mount our motion unit there, it's actually going to be angled down towards our shoulder and more likely to occasionally create a false positive off your shoulder. So all we're going to do is just move it up a little bit from the bottom, put it right about there, and we've got a nice flat mounting surface with no issues with false positives. So that's all we have today for the Motion Infinity and Motion 6 laser gesture sensor. If you have any further questions about that, please visit us at www.euclairdigital.com. Visit your local power sports dealer or contact us anytime. Thank you.